franchise, but yeah, it'd be cool to get a remake. Yep. All right, this is one that I just found like getting on, so I'm just gonna read from Comic Book Tom, and I don't know this specific leaker, so I would say take it with a grain of salt, but I'll read it just in case. According to a Call of Duty leaker, The Ghost of Hope. Call of Duty 2024 will be set in early to late 2000s. That was cover Operation Enduring Freedom and the Iraq War. These two operations imply the game will directly pull from history and possibly address things like 9-11, desire to find and destroy Iraq WMDs, and much more. It's also worth noting that this is expected to be Treyarch's game, team behind the Black Ops series, which will always be set, uh, which has always been set in the past or in the distant future. It would also be the first game to be outside of the modern warfare franchise, would take place in a relatively modern time period. Um, first off, Dan, you know what? I'm gonna leave this off. I don't know if this is true or not. It doesn't seem like it is true. Uh, I doubt they have the um, for lack of a better word, balls to uh take on a such a recent story. Um, especially since we're still learning about things that were clearly lied about back then, but. I would be fascinated to play this. I know this would uh, be a lot of people's, not very many people's bread and butter, but I would love to play something like this. Uh, seemingly because I just love real history, things like this. Although Call of Duty tends to bend the truth in some aspects. so. But I would, uh, I would like this. And they always do really good campaigns. So I would, I would like this. But again, I don't think this is probably real. What do you think? Yeah, it's it's interesting. It definitely hits a lot closer to home with uh, with it being more recent uh, war that people obviously remember quite a quite yeah. a bit about. If they really uh, do nine eleven, I mean that's that's something I remember. So like, oh, yeah. I can imagine like Absolutely. a twenty something at that time playing a game like a few years later. Uh, you know, I uh, I don't know. I don't think they um I don't think they would do it, but I could be wrong. That's true. Uh, and they, I guess they haven't shied away from stuff in the past, but it's been a while. It's like been a long Modern time Warfare. since no, no Russian. And yeah, Modern Warfare too. I don't even think anyone's left. I, I, I've taught my head. I, yeah, I don't think anyone's left. So it, it would have to be someone pretty new to, to work there to make something like that. But that is a good point. You know, no Russian was. I, I remember that in the news. I remember like yeah. my dad and my grandparents like ha like ha watching the news and, and talking to me about it, like is, is this is like a thing you can do. And I was like, yeah, you can you can definitely do that. Um, uh, and I remember I remember back then too. It was one of those things where like, well, you didn't have to shoot anybody, <laughs> which was a funny thing. It was like we didn't make you shoot anyone. You you just were there, <laughs> which was uh, interesting. But um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, any last points with this? Yeah, and the, like that it, to go back to no Russian, like that made it so powerful when yeah. you went through that whole uh, mission, and then at the end you get the twist where yeah. you know yeah. it didn't matter at the end of the day. You just yeah. you know were complicit with that. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it's crazy. Um, we will have to see. I I would I would love to see that. I know a lot of people would explode in fury if that did happen, but we will have to see. And remember, next year, in theory, we're not getting a Call of Duty. So, this would be uh, two years from now. Uh, so, Quick note, as this year seems to have been a resurgence in the TMNT IP in video games.